T-minus 20 seconds. Lock stopping and work. T-minus 13. Green board. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Go for main engine start. 1, 0. And lift off of the Delta II rocket with NOAA in prime. Continuing the legacy of data for the weather forecasts of today into the future. seconds into the flight. All continuing to look good. Coming up on 36 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going at the speed of sound. Pressure's beginning to trail off on the solids. Coming up on 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Area of max Q, or maximum dynamic pressure. Chamber pressures in the 1, 2, and 3 solids are beginning to trail off. We have burnout of the three solids. We'll be holding on to those solids for about another 15, 20 seconds or so as we're looking for a good drop-off point. Passing one minute, 12 seconds into the flight. One twenty-five, about 10 seconds now before we drop off the solids. The two 12.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 10.9 nautical miles, velocity a little over 1,040 miles per hour. And we have separation of the groundlet solid motors from the vehicle. Passing one minute, 50 seconds into the flight, the Delta II vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch about one minute, 57 seconds ago. Now passing two minutes, our altitude now 19.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 5.8 nautical miles, velocity 1,543 miles per hour. This is the telemetry lab here at the Mission Director's Center here at Vandenberg. Engine and vernier chamber pressures continuing to look good right in the expected range. Engine uh, pitch and yaw control and vernier engine pitch and yaw control well within our ability to control. 